I'm going to do a freeform bowl and this is silicone caulk that I put down on the textured side of a floral holographic window film and uh, so it's the textured side up so it'll leave an imprint on the bottom of the resin and this is waterproof silicone for kitchen and bath and I used a caulking gun and put it out last night and let it dry so it is set up in rubbery and that'll be my dam or barrier to keep the resin from going outside. I've got at least 10 or 12 ounces of resin so I'm just going to pour a clear coat and this is counterculture medium viscosity artist resin equal parts A and B. I don't want it super super thick so again that's probably about 12 ounces. I'm just kind of pushing it towards the barrier. I just didn't want a perfect circle so that's why I made it this kind of wonky shape. Got this on a MDF Lazy Susan but it's great for a surface you know to hold my you need to tape your vinyl plastic down so it doesn't pull up you know and scrunch up on you and you have wrinkles and then I've got some a uh, couple ounces of just little ice crystal looking acrylic stuff so I'm just gonna go around this just gives it some interest on the edges I want all of the crystals in the resin also so that um, they stay and don't fall out eventually so that resin will hold them in like glue so here where it's thick I can just take some and move it around And I'm gonna I'm leaving this clear because with any kind of holographic film you get better results as far as a prismatic holographic look when you don't add color as much to the resin, so that's why I'm using clear. So what happens is right now on the top it's just straight out clear but when you pull it off of the film that prismatic effect from the bottom will come through on the other side and I'll show you what I mean when I get to that point. I'm going to let this sit up about uh, probably about five or six hours and then I'll shape it into a form from there. So I will be back later. Okay, I'm trying to, I warmed it up a little bit, but I'm not going to touch the resin because it's still a little bit tacky, but it's pliable, so I'm trying to get it to a place where I like it, so I may, not want to ruin it.
see what this looks like. Okay, so I wanted to show you first the window film. This is the texture side. This is the shiny side. So you always pour against the texture side. Now I can take a heat gun and put it on low and warm it and that will kind of flatten it release it again and you just have to tape it down tightly and flat on a surface again and you can use it over and over again and so here is the bowl so this was the top side and it picked up the pattern of the textured side because it's clear now if I had put colored resin and all that you want you wouldn't see it as much but um, yeah there's the inside and I'll take it outside to show you the holographic effect and so it's kind of a wonky bowl it sits low here and higher here and that's totally okay I've even thought about painting it on the reverse side, but I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to leave it clear. And then all the little crystals around the edge. You can totally leave the edge as is, or you can, you know, paint it with a silver or gold paint pen. That's up to you. So here's the finished bowl, and I hope you learned something from this video. And, uh, Keep on experimenting and creating and making beauty, and I'll see you on the next video. Love you so much. Bye-bye.